who would have thought that so soon after the wettest year um, that anyone alive can remember we would be looking at drought uh, this um, I mean, oh, earth is as dry as powder um, I've been watering some of the new newly planted trees Feels very so a few inches down. It feels very slightly moister. Obviously, there is some soil moisture, but um, it's as dry as sand. Uh, anyway, uh, what I'm going to try and do a bit more is make very short videos, uh, making just one point. And uh, this is um, an Egremont russet tree. There's a double row of Egremont russets here to the right and the left. Splendid trees they are. They don't crop every single year. But this year they've got a very decent crop just up here. Uh, lovely apples they are. Um, really one of the very finest. Um, now here we can see a tree where quite obviously a major branch got sawn out. Um, you can see there are uh, uh, one, two, three main branches, and this one got sawn out. Now I didn't saw it out right. I, I can't remember why I saw it out. I, I can't remember why. It might have been massively overcrowded. It might have been diseased. I'm not sure. But I didn't saw it right back close to the trunk. I sawed it back sort of so far. And uh, uh, I, do you know I can't remember her for certain? But I've got a strong feeling I did it in order to let some more growth come up and balance the tree. So I've got about eight shoots coming up, but I don't want them all. And, uh, you know, it's a sound rule. Um, if you're going to cut some, uh, something out later, you may as well do it sooner to leave the other stuff more time uh, to grow. Note again, I'm, I'm uh, cutting this with the blade next to the, um, the blade next to the a branch because if I do it the other way around uh, you can see I'm going to leave a, a, a three four millimeter a bit I don't want a uh, stump careful yeah that one can come out as well and that one right so I've um, removed all but two of those shoots I've left the two which I consider are best shaped to grow into that space. You, uh, you see what that would make sense? I tend still to go for the, I know we've had this conversation before, um, but I do very much tend to go for the uh, open centered tree. Uh, it's a bit late to change my mind now. Uh, I made that decision 21 years ago when we started planting here. Um, I, I know that the modern tendency is to grow centre leader dominant pyramid trees, to grow them much closer together uh, and on much smaller rootstocks, grow them like a sort of hedgerow or fully supported. Yep, yeah, no, no problem. I'm not arguing with that as being the industry standard. Uh, but this isn't an industry standard orchard. It is my orchard, if anyone doesn't like it, they're willing to plant their own orchard and I wish them well.